Howdy folks, TJ here, or should I say ho 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 folks, TJ here. <laughs> I've got a goodie today, three years in the making, but technically only one year in the making for this particular brand. You've probably seen from my thumbnail print what it is, but I'll kind of play a little coy for right now because I've been waiting to get a new smartphone for three years. I'm still pimping and using my Pixel 3. Let's go back a little bit though, so you know how I kind of arrived at getting this beast. And I'm excited for it. So what have I been using smartphone wise from day one? Well, I'm an Apple kid. You can, I think the camera's showing over there, Mac uh, Pro. I don't call that the trash can, I call that the nuclear reactor, because it's still a kick butt computer. 12 cores. I do need a new one though, but I don't have that much money to do it. In fact, this thing cost me a pretty penny. But again, back to the olden days. I started with the original iPhone. And I, I'm not the type to get every iteration of a product. I normally enjoyed it for the full two years that the payment plan was for. And then typically around that mark, I would look at getting a new one. Sometimes I'd even go a little farther for the three year. So I've enjoyed Apple product, Apple iPhone for a long time. Uh, once during that process, I tried a Samsung. I don't remember what year it is, and I don't remember the exact model, but it was all the rage. Samsung was at version 3? 3? It looked really cool. It definitely seemed to be a step above what the iPhone was at the time. I purchased one at the local uh, Verizon, I think it was, brought it home, and it failed. It ran for a little bit and then failed. And I go, okay, the gods from above say, no, TJ, you use iPhone. You did not use Android device. So I returned it and got an iPhone. <laughs> but then the number of years kind of went by. And again, the Androids really, you know, are pretty cool. The Pixel 3 really interested me. So I purchased a Pixel 3 on a Thanksgiving a little over three years ago, I guess. Something like that. And overall, it's been a pretty good device, although it is the only smartphone I've ever purchased that actually had a problem where I had to get it serviced or repaired. The battery in the back started bulging and the case was popping off. Luckily, even though it was out of warranty, Google did take care of it, a one-time replacement, uh, which I think it was about a year and a half into ownership when they did that. And now it's about three years total. So another year and a half went by. It se still seems to be working okay, but was it time for TJ to jump back into the iPhone world? iPhone Pro 13. Oh, I was going to do it. I was so close to doing it. But this Duo, yes, I'm going to say it now, Microsoft Duo 2, really, a year ago when they announced the one, or came out with the one, I almost did it. I almost purchased it, but with the problems they were experiencing and the wife kind of saying, you know, I would love to get a phone. I can't store my iTunes songs on this older iPhone I had. So I figured, you know what, let's just get her a new iPhone Pro 12 Pro, I think it was. And that was a year ago. So instead of me getting some goodie, it was all about the wife getting a goodie, which is cool. She's enjoying her computer, and I get to enjoy it vicariously through her. But I've been using the oldest phone in the house, Pixel 3, for all this time. And it's got some quirks and problems. So I was at a crossroads. Do I do the Duo 2? I had been waiting because I said, if the Duo 2 comes out and it looks really uh, promising. Yeah, I kind of had a little cough in my throat there. I'm so excited. Uh, get the Duo 2 or get the iPhone Pro 13 or is it the iPhone 13 Pro? That's probably more appropriate. And why am I wearing the Santa hat? Well, you know, it's, it's still October, but this is a Christmas present from me to me <laughs> or from Santa to me. However you want to do it. I've got the Santa hat on and I kind of look a little like Santa. Uh, I was at a crossroads and I decided to get the Duo 2 by Microsoft. I had all intentions to get an Apple again, but you know what? The dual screen capability is just telling TJ, you've got to get me. You've got to play with me because you need to tell you the truth. I don't talk much on my phone. Pretty much everything I do on my phone is web browsing. Facebook, Twitter, emails, all productivity things. Having two screens to me, and I know some 
people outside of enjoyment of the duo think, you know, you know, you can have this big old folding, uh, you know, Z fold and all this other stuff, but it's just not the same. I do like Microsoft's idea of two individual screens being more productive. I feel it. I think I'm going to feel it here once I start using this. And I am excited to finally say I'm a Duo 2 owner. Now, if I start having problems with it, maybe I'll look back and say, TJ, that wasn't a good choice. Like the Samsung that I purchased. It died right away. Maybe this one will blow up tonight. I sure hope not. Uh, I do want to also thank Shane Scary of Literal. I've enjoyed your Facebook posts. I believe you post on Facebook. I've enjoyed your YouTube channel. You're one of the instigators behind this. You really lay out your YouTube reviews very well. I appreciate everything that you've done, and I've been watching you for the last year plus and seeing what's coming out, and uh, I appreciate your YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to his, uh, the link will be d below. If you want, I feel he is the de facto best uh, Duo 2 or Microsoft Duo-related Facebook not Facebook, YouTube channel out there. He is phenomenally great. So, thank you for everything that you do. But now it's my turn, Shane. It's my turn to open up. This is going to strictly be an unboxing. And then at a future time, I'll make a video on how I'm getting along with it. But let's open this thing up. So, it arrived with a hole. There's a hole in this box. Had me a little worried. So, uh, is there a little peel-off strip I can take off this? Oh. And I, I wish I could open it out on my kitchen table, but I've got a puppy out there right now, and she's kind of resting. And when I have it, just like having a baby, when you have that chance and the baby's down, be quiet. Very, very quiet. Because I want to have a few minutes rest in peace, because otherwise she's gnawing on my shins, chewing on my face, eating me alive. And I, I'm going to enjoy this time to make a video. <laughs> so inside this box is another box. And looking at it quickly, this hole in the box that was right here did not cause any issues so far. So I'm going to try my best to open everything up over on top of here. But here is the box that's come in. So hopefully the, the lighting is good enough to kind of show you. And I'll hold it a few different angles. Everything is nice and plastic wrapped. I ordered the obsidian color. And I like obsidian. In fact, I've got some obsidian over in the other room. My wife and I actually did a little... Mining for obsidian. There's a place in California that you can go up there and mine for obsidian. We did that two years ago, two and a half years ago. We need to get back to that particular location. It was cool. So obsidian is a real thing, not just a color. <laughs> and uh, I got the 256 gigabyte model. I would have loved to splurge and get the 512, but Best Buy, I don't think, showed it. And to tell you the truth, 256 is double the amount of gigabytes I have on my Pixel. I think it will be fine. And, uh, you know, in two years from now, when uh, I've paid off this phone, because uh, Best Buy, I did the uh, pay every month kind of thing and get it paid off, hopefully I can get a new one. Maybe there'll be a new Duo. By then it's going to be Duo 4, because this is 2. Next year will be 3, and then 4. So maybe Duo 4. <laughs> uh, so here's the box. And it shows the right color. It says Microsoft Surface Duo 2 on this side. And then on this side, it's got serial numbers. Android 11, 8 gigabyte, Geo, GT, 256 gigabyte, Obsidian. And it's got all sorts of serial number info. And then on the back, there's little text that I can't even read with a microscope anyway. So you won't probably be able to view it from here. But I'll show you a quick picture of the back of the box. And so cool. Now... Did I bring a razor to open this up? No, but I got a pair of scissors over here, and I sure hope my my camera's got enough. My Pixel 3's got, uh, I think I was up to 92 gigabytes of um, data, uh, so I don't know if this is gonna be record everything, so I better get my move on here. Like Santa, I can be in many places overnight and get a lot done. Maybe, <laughs> probably not. Don't tell the wife that I can get a lot done because then she's gonna have me do more chores around the property. I don't wanna do that. I've got about 10 acres here up on the homestead. So, pretty box. Now, let me let me pan down here a little bit so you can maybe see, th see things a little closer. By the way, this computer behind here is a specky next. For those that are on my channel, you know I am into retro computers and retro style computers. 
panda. Yeah, Specky next is the bee's knees. Already 10 minutes into this. Woo, it's a long one boxing. So things may uh, get a little blurry, and I think sometimes it's going to focus on my hat and on this box. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> so here's the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ready? Ooh, <laughs> I'm already getting winded. Okay, ready? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> it opened. I, I saw some other people having a problem getting that box off. Mine slipped right off. Maybe it's because I'm old and looser. Things just kind of fall out. <laughs> Woo, Santa's going to fling my, my little ball over here. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty. It looks pretty already. So here's the box. It's got a little tabby down here. It's got some paper stuff or something protecting it. So I'm guessing it's saying, grab this little notch, TJ, and pull. Okay. By the way, I went to Best Buy. I actually held one before I bought one because I was on the fence, like I said. Do I get an Apple uh, I, uh, iPhone 13 Pro? Do I get this? And I went down. Best, my local Best Buy, which is half an hour away, didn't have one. The next place was about 50 minutes away. I drove all the way there just to hold one, and I knew they didn't have stock to get one. And I ordered one. I liked it so much at the uh, store. So we'll, we'll open this next box. So let's open. There's a little finger thing here. Okay, that's just a little piece of uh, protective cardboard. And here's another little holy thing. Holy. <laughs> okay, open that. Uh, you guys probably don't care about this stuff, but let's just quickly. Oh, there's a little. There's some goodies in here. Okay, goodies in here. Oh, it's got one of those uh, the iPhone SIM thing. So I'm on Verizon right now. I sure hope my SIM just slaps into this and I can start using it tonight. Otherwise, I'm going to be a little tired and complaining and grumpy. Grumpy Santa, don't want that. So here's a little booklet. Uh, it's showing which direction. It's probably this direction. Yep, it's a SIM tool, and it's got Microsoft Surface 2, a little booklet, and some Microsoft lawsuit gibberish stuff. Yeah, I don't care about that, those things. But the little tool and the little booklet I will look through. Let's put that over there. Oh, there's another thing in here. I don't know what it is. I think it's going to be a cable. Okay, pull that out. Okay, empty box, empty box. Let's put this over here. Uh, oh, okay. Yep, it's going to be a cable, probably. Cable, cable. Yep, a cable. So, USB C to C cable. You know, it's kind of depressing that everybody's going to no power things because you know what? My Pixel 3 little uh, quick charger, I think, only does what, 10? Maybe 10 watts? I don't know. I don't know if I can use that one or not or if I'm just going to have to plug it into my computer. And this cable won't work because I don't have any computers that do USB-C to C. I'm going to have to use one of my USB uh, uh, regular old one to C. So anyway, that's in there. That's in here. Now let's go ahead and... Okay, so there's some plastic stuff on here. Oh, I get to open it for the first time like a little bit. Oh, here's the camera. It's a, it's a bit of a bump. But I'm bumpy. I'm old. I got bumps all over. I got bumpy belly. Yeah, I'm bumps. I'm fine with bumps. Look at this. Camera that's going to take awesome pictures. We'll soon see. But let's go ahead. Okay, ready? One. Oh, two. Okay, I know I'm a little silly, but I'm giddy. You know, this is really exciting. I haven't had a new phone for three years. Three. Holy shimosis. This thing looks beautiful. Okay, so there's some peeling stuff here. I'm guessing I need to grab this one. Oh, it's coming off. It's coming off. Don't look, boys and girls. Okay, and then... Oh, don't drop it. I gotta get one of those top bumper case things. I do gotta, do gotta buy that, so I gotta be really careful of this. So look, I mean, can I... I can see my reflection. Oh, man, I'm gorgeous. Okay, so there is... I mean, everybody has seen... These pictures, let me go ahead and close. I want to see if this thing closes really level. I've seen some that look kind of... No, this looks good. This looks, So here's the front. Oh, it's already got fingernails. Fingernail, fingerprints. So you definitely, if you're a mass, uh, if you do bad things and you don't want your fingernail or fingerprints uh, taken by the, uh, the coppers, <laughs> this might not be a good device to have because it's going to show all your finger... Fingerprints all over. That's okay. I don't care. I'm 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 not a bad guy. I'm, I'm I don't do any of those things. So here's the front of it. it it's going to be kind of hard. I've got my lighting pointing this direction. Maybe some of it will show. Okay. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous phone. From front to back. Everybody knows about the camera bump, 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 bump. We're good with that. Here's the back. This thing is thinner 
then I've never been this thin. Even when I was born, I wasn't this thin. This, this thing is thin, even with the little bump down here. Look at how thin that thing is. And then you just, oh, I mean, there's, there's buttons here, fingernail things. I keep saying fingernail. I cut my fingernails the other day. I don't need to do it again. This thing is a gorgeous phone. This is probably the dual screen, the thinness of it, everything about it just feels ritzy. I wanted to feel ritzy for once. I didn't want to have just another phone. I wanted to have something special. I like unique things. I feel this is still in its unique phase. Maybe by Duo 3 or 4, it will be commonplace. It's, but right now, it's still unique. And let's just go ahead and... I don't know. Can I turn this thing on already? Uh, oh. Is that the power button? Or is this the button? I don't know. I haven't read anything yet. That's not it. Uh, this one, push and hold. Hola, no, push and hold. Push and hold. Oh, I heard something. Business. Oh, <laughs> that's the Microsoft logo. Now I am an Apple guy, but I'm okay with the Microsoft logo. Powered by Android. Okay, we're gonna leave this video at this before I drop it and spit more on it because I'm I when I talk I spit a little bit because I'm excited. Oh, nice and bright. Hola. Hello. Aye. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, I don't know what that haze. I like the bottom one. Haze. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to set this thing up now. I'm going to put this over here because I don't want everything scratched up yet. All right. That is my iPhone. No, it's not an iPhone. It's a Microsoft Duo 2 unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Are the rest of my videos this excitable? Yeah, I'm typically a pretty excitable person. Not quite over the top, but sometimes. <laughs> when, you, when you find something you love, you just, you just go for it. And that's what I'm doing. I am so excited to finally have this phone. You can see I'm speaking now uh, normal. I've just been wanting one of these. And I really appreciate that I, I'm lucky enough to be able to finally snag one. So... Let's get this ball over on this other side. I'll do a future video on my first go around with this. Until then, thanks for watching this video. I know most of my channel members are into retro computers. This is not a retro computer, but I want to run the Android Specky program in this and play Specky games on my Duo 2. That will be fun, and I think my channel will enjoy it. So, thanks for watching. Peace! I own a Duo 2!